Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol IPIX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis on a pretty uh, routine basis. I did it on Friday. So that is where these green and red line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. And you know, not to state the obvious or rub salt in the wound or anything, but the bears took a big old bite out of this one today. I would assume either maybe earnings came out or just some sort of bad news in general because the majority of the, the loss came in just a 30 minute session. And that was right out the opening gates. Again, each one of these candles represents 30 minutes. And I bring that up because like I said, this candle right here represents the opening 30 minutes. And that's where all the price fell. And then to give some credit where credit's due to the bulls, the price essentially just leveled off right there. Sure, it's not nearly as good as when the price was where it was, but if you've traded for a long enough time, then I'm sure you've seen stocks where the price has a very bad first 30 minutes, but even after the first 30 minutes, the price just keeps on drifting and drifting downwards further and further. So from that perspective, yeah, like I said, got to give the bulls some credit. At least they were able to level things out. The obvious problem though, is that where they leveled things out is much lower than where it was. So let's get some things updated here as we head into the week. And uh, who knows, these are penny stocks. So the, the bulls could always make another big move. But first thing I'm gonna do is just delete these lines out of here. Sure, they still pertain, but they're just not relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter all over the place with a million lines. So we'll try to keep this as straight as uh, forward as possible. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, at this point in time, it's all about the pink line right there, which is the very famous 200 period simple moving average. Even if you just have a basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that when the prices blow it, it does tend to act as resistance and you actually already have one example of that right there. So the price dropped below it and then the bulls try to get above it there, but got rejected back down. So 81 cents is gonna be that near term area of resistance going into the week. As far as next potential areas of support, right now pretty straightforward, the bleeding stop today, right there at, uh, what's that value? The 71 cent mark. So 71 cents key level going forward. You can see right there, you know, the, the bears tried on a couple of cases to push down through there, but the bulls did hold strong and then they just went sideways the rest of the day. So 70 cents key area of support going forward, that 200 period up at 81 cents key level of resistance. We'll see how the week unfolds, still four days left. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.